The winner is Green Book. One of the movies that dominates the 2019 award season is Green Book, but all the attention includes several controversies. Before we go through the list of the movie's on and off screen problems, here are some basic facts. Mahershala Ali stars as black jazz pianist Don Shirley. Viggo Mortensen stars as his white chauffeur, Tony Vallelonga, who accompanies Shirley on his concert tour of the Jim Crow South in the 60s. So can I put uh, P.S. Kiss the Kids? The film is based on the pair's unlikely friendship. Tony's real life son, Nick Vallelonga, co wrote the movie. It was directed by Peter Farley. And Oscar-winning actress Octavia Spencer was an executive producer. Green Book won three Golden Globes and a SAG Award. It also landed on the American Film Institute's top ten list and got five Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. Was it worth it? But critics deride how the movie handles racial conflict. They call it tone deaf and say it perpetuates a white savior complex. The racism against Don Shirley is a focus of the film. But the true center of the movie is how this trauma makes Shirley's white friend, Tony Vallelonga, a better this person. This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. Monique Judge, a writer with the online black magazine The Root, says the movie spoon feeds racism to white people. She explains there are some shocking events, but they are not truly frightening. Here, have a breast. Critics have wondered who exactly was this movie made for. In the past few years, films like Moonlight, Blind Spotting, and The Hate You Give were celebrated for their more modern, raw depictions of black experiences in America. What do we do about the bones? We do this. But Green Book is a more mainstream movie with a reassuring message and a rose-colored happy ending. Author and journalist Mark Harris believes the film is dated and said, after 50 years, a particular kind of movie about black and white America has at long last run its course. But not everyone can play Chopin. Not like I can. Don Shirley's family called the film inaccurate and said Nick Vallelonga wrote the screenplay without consulting them. Shirley's brother Maurice said his family is boycotting the film. He called it about money and white privilege. There were also several missteps while promoting the film. Viggo Mortensen used the N-word at a screening in Los Angeles. He commented on how the movie depicts the slur's frequent use in the 1960s. He later apologized for the full use of the word. What I was saying was that just because people don't say that word anymore, it doesn't mean that they don't still harbor discrimination, racism inside themselves. This was followed by the resurfacing of allegations of sexual harassment against director Peter Farley. He admitted to flashing people on his movie sets as a joke, including actress Cameron Diaz in 1998. That same week, a 2015 tweet from Nick Vallelonga resurfaced. He tweeted he agreed with the claim made by then-presidential candidate Donald Trump that Muslims in New Jersey celebrated on September 11. This was debunked and proven false. Vallelonga later apologized in a statement to the Washington Post. Have you ever considered becoming a food critic? Not all critics share his taste for the movie. The Post and Hornaday awarded it four stars. Film critic Aramade Tinibu said it pushes past generic storytelling. You never win with violence, Tony. You only win when you maintain your dignity. Dignity always prevails. Mahershala Ali's character and his performance is one of the few non-controversial aspects of the film. Don Shirley was just so dynamic and, and just a character and a person that I hadn't seen on screen before. And um, I wanted to step up to that challenge. Audiences will find out February 24th if the film was able to move past these controversies and win an Oscar. Hi, I'm Elahe Azadi, pop culture writer at The Washington Post. Real journalism matters. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get our latest reporting and analysis.